sound is a form of energy propagated from one point to another as a wave. Sound waves are produced by the vibration of some object. And now, in this activity, we use a smart home to measure the speed of sound by looking at the musical sound produced by a recorder. It is designed to do exactly that. It is really simple to do at home, yet it is profoundly surprising. The equipment that we use are a ruler, a recorder, and a free application of iPods. We can find the application of iPods in the App Store and the Play Store free. You may also use another application like Advanced Spectrum Analyzer Pro that you can find on our Android on Play Store. The first part of this experiment is to measure the frequency of the musical sound produced by a recorder and this we use the pipe box to measure the frequency. frequency shown by the app while we are playing the recorder at particular fundamental musical note or the first harmonic. We record the frequency for each fundamental musical note first harmonic shown by the pipe box. If we use the Advanced Spectrum Analyzer Pro, we can see the first peak shown by the graph. And the second part of this experiment is to measure the air column of each musical note. The length of the air column for the example, I play Do. The length of the air column is the distance between the upper end of the recorder that close to our mouth until the last hole open for example do it means the distance between this end until this end while for re it means the distance between this end until this the open end near the last hole closed if we have measured the frequency and length of the air column by applying the equation of the wavelength for fundamental or first harmonic of the open end pipes the length of the air column is equal to the half wavelength by rearranging the equation of the speed is equal to the wavelength multiplied the frequency, we have speed is equal to 2 multiplied by frequency multiplied by length of the air column. Take an example.
This activity is really simple to do at home, even though there are some considerations that need to take account. However, this is not the point. The key point is this activity can give the students the real experience and a, an opportunity to, uh, at home to directly measure the speed of sound wave. This activity can also be used to show the student the amplitude and the frequency for the concept of the loudness and the pitch of the sound wave.